the Spring Festival. Every year, Delir hosts the festivities with wine, music, dancing, and the king ushers in the new season with his children at his side. Adal and Muriel were training in Bodvar most days that year, leaving Fordwin and I alone in Thorvin City. Fordman would interrupt my research in the library and I'd join him on his hunts with various lords or boring dignitaries. Two childhood friends. It shouldn't have been, but like Master Vandal always says, magic is unpredictable. Happy Spring Festival! I'm sure my son is around here somewhere! <laughs> Well, we'd like to thank Lord Talon of Delir for coming to this Here's the crown prince. He should be out there. Don't get on without me. Hey. You should be with a princess, or the daughter of a lord, or your father would never approve, so why are we even toying with the idea? It's always the bird girl from Peregrine. I don't, I don't want the bird girl. See a thing. You told me magic was only to be studied, never practiced. That it was chaotic, not to be trifled with. And that it always has consequences. Please, no. supposed to be up here somewhere. I thought you knew where it was. Well, I do. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Was well, there a problem? You know the basic direction, and you see things that are familiar along the way, and then poof, you're there. Unbelievable. You had one job. I had... 
Yep. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So we're lost then. We're not lost. We're not lost. Chat, that's all. <laughs> right, boys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Saved my life. So, who are you? Just a ranger. I've been tracking these bandits for weeks. You gave me the opportunity. Ranger. What's your name? Shaw. Shaw Marsden. And you know this forest well. We seek the witch in the wood. I can take you to her. Fordwin. Prince Fordwin, my leash. Yeah. Tell the pirates, tell the bandits. Nobody in this party knows how to keep a secret. Welcome to the group shop. That was Muriel. This is Adele. And this is Oswin. Don't freak out. Hello. You don't happen to know where the closest village is, do you? Where? Over here, ish. Oh, thanks. You know, in Peregrine, they have whole cities on rivers. Cities! A natural plumbing system. Bummer for those down the river. <laughs> Great fin thing. My old man knew the possibilities of rivers. He would have started the whole... Mr. Lorne Lake, thank you for bringing news of my brother, but you have severely overstayed your welcome, so please. Lord! Lord Lorne Lake! And the river folk! Oh, thank God. What is it? News from the port of Keeg. Ostromar ambassadors aren't coming. The crown prince of Ostromar and his two brothers are on their way. Those savages coming here? Prepare the palace. Those princes shouldn't be messed with. They are savages in Ostromar. Thank you for your services, Mr. Lorne Lake. My staff will escort you out.
We may see it here. What does he? What? What happened to you? Oh, well, it's a little embarrassing, actually. It was an unintended consequence of the rules of magic. You see, I there are rules. Well, yes, of course. Uh, the Order of Undersnuff drafted a list of four thousand seven hundred and twenty-three rules, uh, but they were little more than stuffy intellectuals. In truth, there are really only two rules. The first rule is, magic is unpredictable. It doesn't follow the rules. So the rules are, there are no rules? Well, magic is unstable, so yes. Enlighten them. Any who are druidic ancestors seem to be the only people group who ever really had a grasp of magic. Of course, it's unknown how much of that was really just more than myths and legends. It's quite possible that they didn't harness magic like our Lorna's tradition suggests. Uh, which brings me to rule number two. Magic always has consequences. Some worse than others. Yeah, unless, of course, you're an Ephorus. <laughs> an Ephorus. You know a person who can do magic without consequences? Those are real. No, it's not real. That's why the joke is... Carry on. Liv Shaw, tell us about yourself. I'm going to get firewood. Not much to tell. Excuse me. Going to go wash off. Sorry. Worry not. Whipping isn't Lornish punishment. My father was strict. But he was a good teacher. Look, I'm... Sorry for trying to kill you earlier. Relax. If I'm going to kill you, it's not going to be a secret. I'm a Lornish Lord, not a backwater bandit. What's the deal with you and, um, Marielle, was it? How much time do you have? Were you lovers? Much worse. We were sisters, once. So you've all been friends for a long time, then? Yes. I suppose we have. Must be nice. Should, um... Right. Right. Um... Right. What are you going to tell them? You are in the out. In the out. In the out. Stop. Stop. Hold on, man. Hold on. What? What happened? We were robbed. We took all our supplies. I don't, Mary. I'll wake up. See? It's probably bandits. We can catch them if we leave now. We won't have to. They probably took our stuff to sell in the nearest town. No, 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 no. 
They took my sword. Replacing your tin sword is the least of our worries right now. Oswin, weren't you on watch? I wasn't on watch, I was asleep. You sleep? Listen, everybody. How are we supposed to find our weapons? Hey, you there. No, we can find some weapons. So, thank you. There's a baker shop over here. She buys up lost items and redistributes them to the other shops to sell. If anyone knew where her stuff was, it would probably be her. Ain't the way. The armor and supplies are gone, I'm afraid. Happened to be a merchant on his way out of town that bought it all up. The weapons are probably still there, though. You'll find those at the smithy. I'll get the weapons. I'll grab more supplies. Adele, Shaw, pick up some new armor. We'll meet back here. Nice leather goods. <laughs> I'm only in need of essentials, but... They're our weapons. Excuse me. It's not my fault they were stolen. I am not paying 24 gold pieces for these. Then you're not taking them. I run a business here. You're a crook, and you run a crook business. What's going on, Muriel? This thief wants us to pay 24 gold pieces to get our weapons back. Does that cover what? it? That'll do. You're not seriously going to pay for these, are you? We need our weapons, and we don't have time to... One of you covered up this beauty with scraps. If I don't know you had that... Rip the stitches. Muriel, that sword belongs to the ruling heir of Botfar. It belonged to my mother, and now it belongs to me. He's in the will, I think. Hands appoint a new lord to rule with Adele until they have that sword. You don't need a sword to rule. Yes, you do. Eventually, they'll forget about the sword, and they'll find another ruling family. Just like that. It's that easy to give up on centuries of family legacy. Nobody should be forced to be anything. I mean, come on, you don't even want to be king. If Adele finds out, I'm not going to defend you this time. You're the ruling heir of Bodvar. Not anymore. Have the king's purse. Why not get something a little more? We're trying to blend in, Mr. Marston, not stand out. Besides, it's not as if I'm short on gold myself. Oh, yes. Lady Adele of Bodfar. Lord Adele of Bodfar. But. 
you're a woman. Where are you from, Mr. Marston? Excuse me? It's that obvious. You shake hands like a foreigner, and you know very little of our customs. So what are you hiding? Well, to be fair, I don't think I ever told you where I was from. Tell me the truth. Shaw Marsden. Okay, you're right. I'm not from Lawn. From Yavel. I was part of the resistance movement there when Ostromar invaded. We were quickly crushed by the princes. So I fled. Not many places take kindly to foreigners. Most places aren't like Lorne. Is that where those scars are from? I hope so. Those scars are better from an enemy than from a father. Some advice. In Lorne, it's never this. It's always this. like an old woman every night and we're only going further north. To the witch in the wood? To the witch in the wood? Prince Balthazar of the Ostromar Empire. And Lord of the Domini Isles, Chancellor of the Order of the Manticore, Lieutenant Commander of the Black Guard and heir to the Empire. May I present to you the Crown Prince Bartolome. Welcome, my lords. This is Princess Edwin, current head of Lorne in King's absence second in line to the throne. Crown Prince Barthelemy, Prince Balthazar of N Company, welcome to the country of Lorne. It is an honor. We would like to extend our deepest regrets on account of your father. King Brandolf was well admired. His seat will be difficult to fill. I'm sure your brother is up to the challenge. It is a pity to arrive on your shores while you endure such dark days as these. However, if I may, I have seen many lovely princesses throughout my vast travels, but none compared to you in beauty, my lady. Thank you, my lord. We have brought you gifts. Ah, oh, yes. The gifts. center of the world, we bring you a new throne crafted by the finest Ostromarian artisans. 
It will bring you into the modern era. Thank you, my lords. I had no idea Ostromar possessed such talents. silks of Sardal. You will be a vision. We will bask in your beauty this evening, my lady. They have en route, my lord. Good. This 
See you. 